Health Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. Well, everywhere you look, someone seems to be talking about artificial intelligence these days, but it doesn't just help uh, write papers. Doctors say it can also now be used to change the medical world. News Italina Pringle has more on how AI is speeding up the discovery of new drugs in today's Health Spotlight. It takes millions, if not billions of dollars to take a drug from the lab to the pharmacy. Last year, for the thousands of drugs in clinical trials, the FDA only approved 37, the fewest to pass regulatory scrutiny since 2016. But now, artificial intelligence may make the time a drug takes to get approval quicker than ever before. Everywhere you look, people seem to be talking about AI. But it doesn't just help write resumes and papers. It's also changing the medical world. We can cut down the experiments as well as cut down the time. On average, it takes 10 years to develop a new drug. Now, a team at the University of Central Florida is aiming to speed up that process using an AI-based drug screening method they've created. We are you know, working on basically uh, trying try to model drug and, uh, and the target uh, protein interactions and find the predict, predict their interactions. It translates the complex interactions at each drug protein binding site into words. The AI model then analyzes that language to learn which part of a virus protein a drug will bind to. With 97% accuracy, it can predict how well a drug will work. So you can just uh, give it, for example, the COVID protein and uh, test it against all the dr FDA approved drugs and see whether or not they bind or not. That's the beauty of this work. It's called Attention Site DTI and is ready to be used right now for free for anyone developing a new drug. I think it's going to revolutionize uh, medical field uh, in so many different ways. Another upside for using AI in drug discovery, the less time in the lab lowers the cost to create it. Researchers believe that savings could be handed down to the consumer. As for this technology, researchers are now ready to create a website like ChatGPT, making it simple for other scientists to put in their data and see if their drug will work or not. I'm Lena Pringle for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.